Hello everyone, it's Eddie here and today we're going to start teaching you guys how to do a bit of data logging with your EV3 uh, Lego kit. So you can see here I have my basic robot that I've been using in the last uh, 13 lessons or so. So it's just a robot with two motors connected to ports uh, B and C and a um, distance sensor or ultrasonic sensor connected to uh, port number four and I'm also going to now turn the brick on okay I'm going to turn on the brick and I'm also going to now connect the brick to the computer via USB so make sure you connect it to your computer via USB all right, and now we can work on the computer. Okay, so now I'm on the EV3 software, and um, the first thing I'm going to do now is go to File, New Project, and originally we have been uh, creating programs, but this time we actually want to add a new experiment, which is used for data logging. So it's going to have a slightly different interface but most of it will still be uh, pretty easy to do okay so you can see here because I have already connected my robot it's actually starting to do data logging straight away okay so if you get rid of this help interface you can see that on the uh, screen there's a little graph so what is this graph doing right now? Well, I'm just going to show you. So here is my robot. Okay, here's my robot. And look what happens to the graph when I hold my hand in front of the distance sensor. Okay, I don't know if you can see the yellow line, but there is a yellow line here that is going up and down. Right, and right now the yellow line is representing a distance of 20 or 30 centimeters because my hand is about 20 or 10 or 20 centimeters away from the distance sensor. Right, but if I if I take my hand further, okay. If I point my robot at somewhere further, then it shows a further distance. You can see here right now, it's collecting data from my distance sensor as well as my two motors. Right? Uh, what the data is collecting about my motors uh, will be pretty obvious when I start rotating the motor. Okay, so when I'm rotating the motor like this, you can start to see uh, some changes from the data right now it's pointing at 40 degrees so if I move it down a bit okay you can see here that it's pointing at um, 170 degrees but if I move it up a bit you can see it's now pointing at negative 50 degrees so it records the direction that it's pointing at. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to make the program start recording this data into a Excel spreadsheet so I can save it uh, in a spreadsheet format and um, draw graphs and all that, do a bit of data analysis. Okay, so you can see in the bottom left hand corner you can see here it's got a uh, experiment units set up uh, section and it says a duration of 10 seconds at a rate of 10 samples per second. Okay, that means that the experiment that we're going to run to record the data is going to last for 10 seconds. So you can change it to, for example, 15 seconds and 10 samples per second. So it's going to get the data from our sensor 10 times a second. Okay, so that is probably quite a lot 
So I probably don't need that much. Um, let's say I only need five samples per second. So every second I'm going to get five readings. So it's going to be quite a long spreadsheet. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to download the data to my robot. So you can either just download it and run from your robot or you can click download and run. So I'll choose the download function. Now, just remember what the name of your experiment is. So just to make it clear, I'm going to rename the experiment to, um, let's call it Eddie 5. Okay, Eddie 5 EXP. Okay, uh, just so I can find it. I'm going to save the project as well. So I'm going to save the project uh, as uh, Eddie Experiment. Okay, so now I'm going to download the project to my robot. So click this download icon. Right, so it's now downloaded. You guys can now try and find your program. So I'm going to go to the second panel from the left and scroll to Eddie Experiment and then go to Eddie uh, 5 exp which is what I named my file. So if I run that program now, it's going to start collecting the data straight away. <clears throat> and you can see here that the light is flashing meaning that it's collecting data. So I'm going to move my hand away and close to the uh, distance sensor. And you can see it's already stopped recording data because I've only set it for 15 seconds. Okay, so let's have a look. So let's connect the uh, robot back to the computer again using the USB cable. Hook it in. And then let's go back to our program and upload the data. Okay, so now let's go to Tools, uh, Data Log File Manager. Right, and now you can see here it's looking at um, is there any data on the brick? So go to AD Experiment and go to mydata.rdf. Uh, it tells you that you got the data on the um, 10th of April at 3.20 p.m., which is about a minute, two minutes ago. All right, so import the data. Okay, so now you can see here that it has the data from when you imported it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is have a look at the data in numerical form rather than the graph. So you're going to go down to the bottom left where it says data set table. Click on that and you can see here are the numbers from the data. So it's saying that um, in the first second it sends a distance for the ultrasonic sensor to be 55 centimeters. Or, to begin with and then it went to 45 centimeters and um, on the third second it detected uh, 42.9 uh, centimeters and so on okay so to get this numerical data into Excel okay what you need to do is you then need to go to tools and then go to export data sets right and I'm gonna save it in the same folder as where I have saved my project called eddy5exp.csv which is a program you can then open up in Excel so let's save that okay now let's go to that folder and open it in Excel All right so here's my data logging folder and if you double click on that file and you can see it's opened it up in Excel with the time in the first column and the reading from the ultrasonic sensor in the second column and you can see that it didn't get any of my readings from the two motors because I only had 15 seconds and I ran out of time Okay, so anyway, um, once the data is in Excel, okay, what you can do is I'm going to get rid of the two columns 
and I'm gonna select the two columns that I do have and I'm going to go to insert uh, scatter plot the scatter plot with the line and you can see I have drawn a scatter plot Right, and what you can do is you can change the title. Okay, you can change the title to whatever you want. So, uh, distance sensor readings. And you also have the x axis, which is the time. So, go to format, go to um, where is it? Axis, axis titles. Horizontal axis title, title below axis. Change the uh, horizontal axis title, time in seconds. And change the vertical axis title to uh, distance in centimeters. And so on. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.